This one looks kind of interesting. I think I've seen a couple of these before. This is apparently final statements of death row inmates of Texas. Some of these are really fucked up. Now, I feel like I have looked at this before, but Texas in general has a bit of a questionable history when it comes to treatment of criminals and such. Considering that these are people who have made horrible decisions and destroyed other people's lives for the sake of benefiting their own, I, this is not coming from a perspective of where you have to show as much hardcore respect. Sure, these men slash women have died, but they have either died due to them fucking up someone else, so it comes from a perspective of they deserved it. Or who knows? The thing that always disturbs me, guys, and I don't know if you agree with this sentiment, but one of the things that scares me is someone being prosecuted for a crime that they had actually nothing to do with. It's not as frequent nowadays as it was back then, but it still does happen every now and then, even to certain contexts that actually, you know, like, it's, it's there. At some point, even in the last 10 years, there's an unfortunate person who has been put through the entire legal system who actually didn't do it. It has to be a lower percentage, but back in the day, especially when uh, America was going through more of its rough patches with racism, bigotry, and prejudice, it has gone down. And who knows, maybe we're gonna see some of those cases this time around. Some of you might have seen this already, but if you have, you're about to see me go through it right now. This has no need for us to um, censor anything. We're gonna be taking a look at this. So there's a couple of people here. This is, is this up to date? Is this up to like 2018 or maybe it goes up to like 2006? I don't know. I would like to see if this is something like recent. If we're looking at some of these ages, a lot of them seem to be anywhere from 30 to 60. Is there someone here that's young? The death sentence is extreme. Now, do I agree with it? I mean, that's a debatable topic. It, it, if, the, if the crime is truly egregious enough, maybe. Uh, Etika, your mic isn't working? Yeah. <laughs> um, hold on a second. Is it, it's up to date? The game is real, said this list is kept up to date. So I would like to see if there's a way for us to like know. Execution four, five, 546. Maybe this will tell us some more information when we open up the page here. So this is death row information about someone who goes by the name of Anthony Shore. Date of birth. Um, he was born the 6th, excuse me, um, the 25th of June, 1962. Date received 2004. And then the date of offense was 1992. He was on there for a while. Damn. What did he do? What did this guy do? Shore kidnapped a 16-year-old Hispanic female and sexually assaulted her causing her death. So he's human garbage, and he deserves anything that happens to him. Shore then dumped the victim's body in a field. Multiple people, a nine-year-old female causing her death, dumped the body behind an abandoned commercial building. So what did this human trash have to say in his last moments? Now I'm curious. He says, this was his last statement before he was executed in Texas. Date of execution, January 18th, 2018. He was killed in Texas yesterday. Wow. This is insane. I didn't think it was that. It's up to date. Legitimate, bro. We're seeing this man. He took his last breaths yesterday. Holy shit. What did he say? This is crazy. I'd like to take a moment to say that I'm sorry. No amount of words could ever undo what I have done. To the family of the victims, I wish I could undo the past. It is what it is, though. God bless all of you. I will die with a clear conscience. I've made my peace. There is no others. I would like to wish a happy birthday to Barbara Carroll. Today is it. I would especially like to thank those who have helped me. You know who you are. God bless everybody. Until we meet again, I'm ready, Warden. Fuck. This is insane. Yesterday, bro. I, I mean, you, I knew the death sentence was still in practice in some states, but it's sort of like surreal to see that it's actually going down. This is an official website. This is a, 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 a state 
run website tx.us. This is definitely legitimate. Nothing fucking f fabricated here. He was a pedophile, not just, he was a murderer, a pedophile. This dude was basically one of the worst kinds of humans that could exist. Absolute fucking trash. Why is your voice different? I had a little bit of a cold, so maybe I'm like experiencing some side effects from that. Nigga left with fake respect. Damn, the man thinks God is gonna love him, bro. What disturbs me, I don't know, guys, let me know in the chat if there's anything you read about this which disturbs you besides you know. But I mean, what he said is, I will die with a clear conscience. We didn't even get to see everything that this guy actually did. In Harris County, he kidnapped a 15-year-old white female, strangled her to death with a cord. He then dumped the body behind a ninfa's restaurant. And then on top of it, he kidnapped a 21-year-old Hispanic girl, assaulted her and strangled her to death with a cord, dumped the victim's body. How can you say you... How in God's name can you say you die with a clear conscience? This isn't... Even if it was a one-time thing, that would be horrible. But he did this one, two, three, four, five in different times. He's a sick bastard. And I, you know what? Man, I know this is controversial, but God, man, God bless the person who put this fucking dog under. He needed to go down. Something extreme. But all right, man. Uh, this is actually interesting. As crazy as it is to read this kind of stuff, it's also sort of eye-opening. What other, especially knowing that it, it's up to date so much, are death row offenders, people in Texas who have been killed, or ra you know, rather executed for horrendous crimes in their last words and all that. And this list is actually updated to even yesterday. The last person execution number 450, excuse me, 550, 550, 550, I'm, I'm, my bad, my head is a little scrambled. 546 what took place on the 18th. So what I'm curious about, I mean, this is, I don't know, is 546 a big number or a small number in terms of executions? How far back does this list go? Is it possible for us to check it? Okay, actually, they have number one here. So last updated January 19th, 2018. When was this first offender done? Let me see here. So this is Charlie Brooks Jr. When was he executed? Let me see. I, I don't remember where to go to for um, the exact date. He was born on 19, 1942. Um, discharged. Uh, okay, let me see. Maybe it has his last statement. Maybe that's where they talk about it. Last statement. He was executed in 1982. So is that when they started counting down? The offenders? Do you feel in charge, Etika? I mean, not too much, I mean, to an extent. Um, who's your favorite Doki Doki character? I like, I, I honestly like, um, well, I mean, Sayori is really, really nice, but I I think, I mean, Monica's such an obvious choice, right? She really is. Like, I don't want to just jump to the obvious, but, you know, Sayori or Monica, I guess. Mon Monica is awesome, but everybody loves Monica, right? But damn, yo, Chatty fancy me saying, what's popping though, man? Now, you know, going through some shit, bro. I'm about to see right now. So they started keeping track of this shit around 1982, right? So what I'm curious about now, what's one of the youngest ages that we can spot on this? Death Row seems to be, okay, so here we go. We have someone here who is actually, a, I'm about to be this person's age. Someone who is 28 years old at the time of their execution. This is someone by the, wow. 28 years old, someone by the name of Punchai Wilkerson. Date of birth, um, the 15th of July, 1971. He was 20 years old when received. So even though he was executed at the age of 28, the dude is, um, he was apprehended for this crime that he did at age 20. No, age at the time of offense was 19. What does a 19-year-old do to get the death penalty in Texas? This was in somewhat of an earlier age. Well, I mean, not er age, but, you know, an earlier time. Was discrimination part of this thing or no? Convicted in November 19... Wait, convicted in the November 1990 robbery. I was just born that year. And shooting death of Chung Myung Yi, a Houston jewelry store clerk, 
Wilkerson reportedly watched co-defendant Wilton Bethany buy pieces of jewelry at Royal Gold Wholesale, 9889 Harwin, then returned with a pistol and shot Yi once in the head. Following his arrest, police found that Wilkerson had committed three additional burglaries, three auto thefts, and had shot four other people in two separate drive-by shootings. Prosecutors also claimed that Wilkerson was a party to attempted capital murder when another store clerk was shot with a shotgun. Asian male. Jesus Christ, this dude's this dude. At 19, bro, he didn't give a single fuck. Someone said this sounded like a GTA story. Legitimate, bro. Damn. Etika got all the special bits in the Doki Doki Literature Club. This dude was a bad dude, man. Like, no, no actual, like, you know, oh, bad means good. Like, this dude was fucking twisted, bro. 19? It's always surreal for me to see people far younger than me. I'm 28. Well, I'm, I'm 27. This dude was 19. Now, considering he was arrested at 19. Well, he was 19 when he did these crimes. He was executed almost 10 years later. Does that give a change of perspective or ideas or what did he really say at 28? Let me see here. Hold on a second. I, I just had him there. I messed up. I, I think I lost my placement. But one thing I can do is Ponchai. Ponchai. Okay, here we go. What was his last statement? What did he say? Last statement. He declined to make one. Damn. That's crazy, bro. To see what someone said. There's another person here. San Miguel. Jesse. Another guy. Young. 19. When he was um, arrested. Age at the time of offense. 19. Convicted in the January 1991 robbery and murder of 28-year-old Michael John Flynn. Flynn was one of four people shot to death during the robbery of a Taco Bell restaurant. Listen. I don't know what it is, but th this is probably out of taste, but god damn, man. Taco Bell is definitely not worth getting fucking robbed. How much money do you think they have in those ATMs as is, bro? You're not getting much out of that, bro. I don't get what the motivation was. How much money do you truly get from something like that? A robbery of a Taco Bell, nigga? Uh, if you're going to rob somewhere, I mean, damn, bro. If you're going to really put your life at risk, dude, rob something crazy. Why are you going to... For what? Like, what? How much money could you really get out of those ATMs? Like, five hundred to a thousand dollars? Not worth your life, bro. Not worth your life in the slightest, man. I don't know. A fucking Taco Bell. Do you guys believe this shit? Taco Bell is a bad idea. Rob Subway. <laughs> San Miguel and accomplice Jerome Mike Green, a part-time employee of the restaurant, forced Flynn, the restaurant manager, and employees Theresa Fraga, sixteen and her cousin Frank Fraga into a walk-in freezer after taking an undisclosed amount of cash from the safe Sun Trang Nguyen, a, fen, a friend from Fargus, a friend of the Fargus, were um, sitting in the vehicle outside of the restaurant by the accomplices and forced into the freezer with the other three victims. San Miguel shot all four at close range. He and Green were arrested while fleeing the scene. Teresa Fraga was seven months pregnant when killed. Where does it go to such an extreme? Wow. That's so wild. You were already robbing the place. There was no need to actually take the lives of the people working there. You put them in the freezer and then you shoot them to death? An undisclosed amount of money. I sort of wish that it told you how much these guys were doing this for. It seems like so unwarranted. Like, what was the need for it? And... Let me see here. It's it, Let's see what the last statement was. Okay, here we go. Date of execution was June 29, 2000. Be strong, brother. Be strong, my brother. Be strong, mom. It's going to be all right. I love all of you, and don't forget that. Ironic, isn't it? I'm a cross. You'll take care of each other. I'll be watching over you. Thank you, Donna. Yes, Jesus. It's kind of surreal seeing what they're saying, bro. Fuck.